Welcome everybody to another video from Robotic Mower Services. In this video, we're going to be talking about transformers, and I don't mean Optimus Prime and Megatron. I'm talking about what you know as power supplies for your automowers, for your charging station. And we're going to get into this because uh, there's a lot of confusion about these parts. And um, these are really the first thing you want to check when you're trying to diagnose an issue with your mower not charging or a charging current supervisor error or a uh, charging station error. You want to start with the source, and this is the source when it comes to all those issues because this is where your entire system gets its power from. Before we get too far into this, let's just explain that these are actually transformers. They are transforming your AC power to DC power, but on the unit itself, it is labeled a power supply and you will see it come up both ways in different types of uh, parts listings and literature for the automowers and stuff. So transformer power supply, as far as it comes to automowers, it's one and the same. Every transformer slash power supply from Husqvarna for an automower has all of the information that you will need to be able to test it right on the unit itself whether it's molded right into the transformer housing or whether it's on a sticker, you will be able to find what the input voltage should be. That means what's coming out of your outlet and going into the transformer and the output voltage, which is very important because that's what the transformer is putting out to the rest of your system. And that's where you're going to want to check a lot of this stuff out from. So again, easy to find all that stuff. It's right on the top and we're going to show you uh, some of these different transformers and what the information looks like and help you to understand this information. And before we get too far into this, we should probably explain too that one amp is equal to 1000 milliamps because you will see different ratings on all these transformers. It might be in amps or it might be in milliamps. So as you can see here, 1.3 amps is equal to 1300 milliamps. 2.2 amps is equal to 2,200 milliamps. 4.2 amp is equal to 4,200 milliamps. 7 amp is equal to 7,000 milliamp. So let's start by taking a look at some different transformers that have been available from Husqvarna here in North America for the past couple years. All right, the first one we got here, this is an old white label version, and you can see the input 100 volts to 240 volts and that means what this is being plugged into. So your outlet on your wall or wherever you're plugging this transformer in can be rated between 100 volts to 240 volts, and this transformer will work with that. Now that transformer should transform that AC voltage down to 28 volts DC at 7,000 milliamps. And as you just saw in our little chart there, 7,000 milliamps equals 7 amps. So the output of this should be 28 volts, 7 amp. One thing I do want to point out, as you can see on the white label one here, the 100 volts to 240 volts, the original ones, you could plug them in to any outlet that was putting out power in that range. Later on, you'll see here that the newer transformers were only capable of being plugged into a 120 volt outlet. The problem we ran into were some people had mowers installed on commercial properties and they originally came with a transformer like this that was rated from 100 volts to 240 volts and they worked when they got the new transformer it wouldn't work because the outlet they were plugging it into was putting out more than 120 volts so something to keep in mind and something to look for just wanted to point that out but the big thing is the 28 volts and the amperage coming out of it so here 28 volts 7,000 milliamps so this would be 28 volts 7 amps that's what this is going to produce to our charging station. This is the replacement for the previous one we just showed you there. And you can see, like I just mentioned, input voltage on this one, 120 volts AC, not 100 to 240 volts AC, only 120 volts. Output voltage, 28 volts DC, and here they have it labeled 7 amp, not 7,000 milliamp. But you know that 7,000 milliamp is the same as 7 amp. So that's what makes this a replacement for that one there because the output power is identical between the two. They're both producing 28 volts DC at 7 amp or 7,000 milliamp. Here we have input voltage, 
120 volts AC, output voltage 28 volts DC, 4.2 amp or 4,200 milliamp. So we're putting out 28 volts just like the previous two, but it's only putting it out at 4.2 amps or 4,200 milliamps. So that means even though it's putting out the same amount of voltage, it's putting out a lower current. Now, this is the part where people get confused. Well, 28 volts should just be 28 volts, right? Well, no. The 4.2 amp, the 7 amp, the 7,000 milliamp, however you want to break it down, the amperage is basically the force of which that power is coming through there. To give you a better idea of why the amperage is important, saying you have 28 volts is basically like turning on your kitchen sink and saying, yeah, I have water. You can see here, yeah, there's water coming out of the sink. But what is the pressure? What is the force that it's coming out of there? That's your amperage. That's your charging current. And it has to be the correct current for each mower. So, yeah, you have water here. Yeah, you could have 28 volts coming out of any of these transformers that we've shown you and are going to keep showing you here. But the charging current, the amperage, that's the important part because it's the difference between having a flow like this and having a flow like this. This is why it's important to know what you're looking for when you're looking at your transformer and going to test it because each transformer will put out 28 volts, but if it's not putting out the correct amperage, that's when your mower is going to start having errors. That's when your charging station is going to start having errors. Here's another older one. You can tell because it says the input can be anywhere from 100 to 240 volts AC. But again, the output, 28 volts DC. This time the amperage though, 1.3 amps. So now you've seen a 7 amp, a 4.2 amp, and a 1.3 amp. And the important part here is because all of these have put out, all these will put out 28 volts, we would see sometimes where there was a 450X, an older one, that should have a 7 amp transformer, but it was being charged by a 1.3 amp transformer. And back in the older days, you could get away with that. It would just take longer for it to charge, but it would work. But now if you try that, the charging current supervisor is going to say, no, there's something wrong here, something shorted out because we're not getting enough amperage coming through. We're not going to stay here in this charging station because there's obviously a problem. Here's another one. Input, 100 volts to 240 volts AC. The output, again, 28 volts. DC, but this time 2,200 milliamps or 2.2 amps. So this one fits in between the last one we just showed you and the 4.2. So that's four different amperage ratings for these transformers, which are all putting out 28 volts. Here's another older version of one we already showed you. Input 100 volts to 240 volts AC. The output 28 volts DC, 4,200 milliamp or 4.2 amp. So this one here was uh, the older version of the one we showed you previously. It didn't have a white label on it, but it was rated at 4.2 amps. And here we have another newer one, uh, power supply, input voltage, only 120 volts, not 100 to 240. And the output voltage, again, 28 volts, DC, 1.3 amp or 1,300 milliamps. Now, I mentioned back there about uh, people using a smaller transformer than what their mower is supposed to have or what originally came with the mower and that causing the charging station problem or charging current supervisor error because the transformer they're using isn't putting out enough current. But it also goes the other way. If you use a transformer that's rated for more than what your mower is supposed to be receiving, that is when you get the error saying charging current is too high. We see this a lot of times on 430s and 450s where people get the transformers mixed up and they'll be using the smaller transfer, transformer for the 450 and get a charging current supervisor error because there's not enough power coming in. But they'll be using the 7 amp transformer on the 430 and trying to charge it faster, but they're going to get the error saying charging current too high and it's not going to allow the mower to take the current because it just knows that it's too much for it. So now that you know that there's multiple transformers for auto mowers that come from Husqvarna and they all put out 28 volts DC, but they're rated at different amperages and your mower needs a specific amperage or else it's going to give you an error saying it's too much or it's not enough. How do you know you have the correct one for your mower? What if you bought the mower secondhand? What if the dealer gave you the wrong one? Um, you know, what if the dealer 
sold you the wrong transformer, you ordered the wrong transformer, whatever it is, how do you start your troubleshooting process if you're not really sure what transformer your mower is supposed to have? Pretty simple. We made a list, and here it is. 1.3 amp or 1,300 milliamp transformers will be used for 115H, 310, 315, 315X, 415X, and the EPOS reference station. The 2.2 amp or 2,200 milliamp transformer would be used for the 520, 520H, 520 EPOS, and 520H EPOS. The 4.2 amp transformer or 4,200 milliamp transformer would be used for the 430X and 430XH. The 7 amp or 7,000 milliamp transformers would be used for 435X, 450X, 450XH, 450X EPOS, 450XH EPOS, 535 all wheel drive, 550, 550H, 550 EPOS, and the 550H EPOS. So now that you know that there is a difference between all of these different transformers, even though they all put out 28 volts, you have to have the one that's putting out the proper amount of amperage through your charging station and into your mower, or else your mower is not going to charge or it's going to give you an error whether it's charging station error, charging current supervisor, charging current too high, or some other error, you have to have the correct one. You're probably asking, well, I can tell pretty easily whether it's putting out 28 volts, but how do I know how much amperage it's putting, it out, putting out and if that's actually reaching my mower? Well, that's coming in another video. But for now, we got you all straightened out on these transformers here. If you find out that your transformer has failed or you've got the wrong one and you need to replace it, best place to go, our website, www.roboticmowerservices.com. There you can find transformers, power supplies, low voltage cables, and all kinds of other parts and accessories for automowers and automowers themselves. If you're having more issues with your mower and you need some more technical support, you can send us an email, tech support at roboticmowerservices.com. If you have questions regarding parts or mowers themselves, just in general, send an email to info, I-N-F-O, at roboticmowerservices.com. That's going to do it for this video here. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel.